Darren? I'm gonna have you. You stay there, darling. I'm coming straight down. Dad! Dad, hurry up! Dad! Sharon! Dad! What is it? There's someone behind me. Well, who is it? I don't know. But you saw him. No, I saw you, darling. I saw something in the bushes. One minute it was there, the next minute it was gone. Yeah, well, it was someone behind Well, that's right. fair enough. We'll call the police. Come on in. No, Look, I want to be with Mum. You're safer with me. Dad, I'd rather be with Mum. All right, fair enough. What are you doing out so late? up with shells. Well, why didn't Lofty walk you back to Because Pete? he wasn't feeling well. Well, that's no excuse. Dad, I didn't want him to. Well, you should have insisted. Look, it wasn't his fault. Okay, fair enough. I'll drive it there myself. No, I'll walk. You're going to get in that car and I'm going to drive you there whether you like it or not. Now, come on. Who's foolish enough to be talking <laughs> sense this morning then, eh? Good morning. Good morning. Of course, it's a bit cold in here, isn't it? Yeah. Can't. It shouldn't be. It's on. Must be me then, eh? How's Sharon? Still asleep. I meant last night. I've forgotten. Oh, good. Oof. Well, I haven't. It scared the life out of me. Still, we're a long way from the pub here, aren't we? I mean, Sha, I'm very grateful to you and Pete for everything you've done for us. Oh, I see, man. I'll come and do you some breakfast. Oh, no, you won't, cos I'm getting breakfast this morning. Oh, don't be stupid. No, then. today's your day off. Yeah, well, leave you two arguing. I'm off, all right? Go on, get all your knitting yeah, machine yeah. or whatever it is you do. Life goes on, doesn't it, eh? <laughs> Good morning, Sharon. I ain't gonna believe this, but I wrote a check the other week for 124 pounds to Mr. King. And he phoned me and told me it bounced. I said, give it a rest. I've got three and a half grand in the bank. I said, but don't worry about it, I'll sort it out. Anyway, I phoned the bank. That's what they told me. And just cleared out the account. What are you gonna do? Not a lot, according to my solicitor. Just talk to the bank manager and make other arrangements. Oh, you'd have no problem with the bank then. That ain't the point. Why did she do it? Well, she probably thinks, right, Ben's gonna get the pub. I need something to fall back on. Or she might think you're going to get your hands on the loop, so she shot him first. But I'd never do a thing like that. Well, she ain't thinking straight, is she? She don't know that. Of course she knew it. She knows me, right? Yeah, right. So I end up with nothing. Yeah, I've never have I known so many people to work so hard with nothing. Yeah, well, I just don't know where I stand. The old thing's got a lot more messier than I thought. Well, that's the trouble with you, old son. The only clean break you get is in your arm. Yeah, well, the money's gone and Sharon's gone. I'll leave off. Dean? It's true, mate. I've got the definite feeling I'm lifting. Come and dog.